successful in this uh, life God is the essence of our life and therefore today Jesus uh, promises to the apostles that he will send a helper for us and therefore let us uh, in this uh, trying times take shelter in God take the help of God and uh, trust in the Lord let us now ask the Lord's pardon for the moments that we fail to trust and have faith in God <coughs> I confess to the mighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Mary of the Virgin, all these and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory we sing to God on high. Peace on earth to all his grace. We thank we praise we worship him. Lord God, our King and Father, His only Son, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord of all the Lamb of God, who saves the world from all its sin, to Him we pray for mercy. Glory to You, the Holy One, Your 
Thanks, say Master, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, offered by Angela and family. Thanks, say Master, Sacred Heart of Jesus, offered by Zachariah and family. Thanks, say Master, Sacred Heart of Jesus, offered by Mary Paul and family. Thanks, say Master, Sacred Heart of Jesus, offered by John Francis, Cecilia and family. Master, the Soul of Late Bestia, offered by Evelyn and family. Master, the Soul of Late Brendan Savio, offered by Maria Francis and family. Thanks, say Master, the Divine Mercy and for special intentions for Jesus on his uh, birthday, offered by the family. Master, the soul of late Teresa Ma, offered by Angela and family. Thanks, say Master, and for God's blessings on the birthday of Brother Christy, offered by Amla and uh, Sarvaraj. Thanks, say Master, and for good health of uh, Manivaram, offered by Amla and the family. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold on to what we do through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. First reading is taken from Acts chapter 8 verses 5 to 8 followed by 14 to 17. Philip went down to a town of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ there. All the people paid close attention to what Philip said as they listened to him and saw the miraculous signs that he did. For in cases of position the unclean spirits came out, shrieking loudly. Many people who were paralyzed or crippled were healed. So there was great joy in that town. Now, when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that the Samaritans had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. They went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit for he had not as yet come down upon any of them since they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So Peter and John laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth, O sing to the glory of his name, O render him glorious praise, say to God, how tremendous your deeds. Our response, cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Before you, all the earth shall bow, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God, tremendous his deeds among them. Our response, cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river dry shod. Let our joy then be in him. He rules over ever by his might. Our response, cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Come and hear, all who fear God, I will tell what he did for my soul. Blessed be God, who did not reject my prayer, nor withholds his love for me. Our response, cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Vendor Patinamu, Purita Petra Gaur and Asma Nautileka, Muda Athyaimu, Vachinamudu, Padikan and Nunchi, Padimir Varaku. Me to the Yamalandu. Christino, Prabhuga, Pratistin Skunadu. Me Anthan and Amakamada Gurchi, Yavari Prestin Chinacho, Samadan and Vasaga, Sarvada, Samsidamaga, Mundu. 
దానిని మర్యాదగా సగౌరవంగా ఉంచుకునుడు మీ మనస్సులను నిర్మలముగా ఉంచుకునుడు ఏదైనా మిమ్ము ఎవరైనా దూషించాలనుకునుడు అప్పుడు క్రీస్తునందున్న మీ మంచితనమును గూర్చి చెడుగా మాట్లాడే వ్యక్తులు తమ పలుకులకు తామే సిగ్గుపడుదురు కదా అది ఏ దేవుని సంకల్పమైనచో కీడు చేసిన దాని కంటే మంచి చేసినందుకు బాధలు అనుభవించడం మేలు ఏదైనా క్రీస్తు కూడా మృత్యువు పాలయ్యను కదా ఆయన ఒకేసారి పాపములకై మరణించను దుష్టులకై ఒక సత్పురుషుడు బలి అయ్యను మనలను దేవుని దరిచేర్చుటకే ఆయన అట్లు చేసను శారీరకముగా క్రీస్తు మరణించను కానీ ఆధ్యాత్మికముగా ఆయన సజీవుడి ఇది ప్రభు వాక్తు i will come to you yet a little while and the world will see me no more but you will see me because i live you will live also in that day you will know that i am in my father and you in me and i in you he who has my commandments and keeps them he it is who loves me and he who loves me will be loved by my father and i will love him and manifest myself to him the gospel of the lord praise to the lord jesus christ my brothers and our sisters in jesus christ today is the last sunday of the easter season and then we have a feast of the assumption and the pentecost and uh, because uh, Uh, the pentecost is fast approaching and uh, Pen- pentecost is the essence of today's gospel reading jesus saying that i will send a counselor and the counselor is the pentecost the holy spirit coming upon the apostles and the blessed virgin mary once there was a, an incident that took place when uh, the campaigning for the election of the president of america was going on and the presidential candidate Jimmy Carter on a sunday he went to the church and then the press reporters and the videographers and the journalists were waiting outside eagerly when the presidential candidate will come out and they wanted to interview him and when he came out everybody flocked to, towards this uh, presidential candidate and then as they were uh, posing questions one after the other one of the journalists he got up and then he said i have a question for you and uh, he said if there is a, when you are elected as a president of america if there is some kind of a dichotomy controversy or a need where you have to decide whether law of the land or law of god has to be followed what will you decide and it was a critical question especially campaigning time because of political reasons he thought for some time and then he said i will follow the law of god 
our lives are based on naturally on the natural laws and the law of the land and ultimately entire universe is run by God himself God who fashioned this earth and mankind and therefore ultimately we are all in the hands of God and God should be the essence of our life and that was the reason St. Louis de Montfort said God alone and St. Augustine said God first in life and therefore we are in this situation God should be the priority of our life yesterday one of the friend priests was sharing that uh, maybe this coronavirus is still spreading rapidly there is no end for this uh, vigorous spreading of this uh, virus maybe because people are not coming together to pray in the sense that uh, many people are not praying if many people pray throughout the world prays uh, to God virus will be nothing for God the same people who were praying before they are praying now but new people and other people who are not praying and other people who are not turning to God are not coming to pray and therefore the virus is still continuing one perception our life is safe and secure in the hands of God today's first reading is very interesting last week we heard about the apostles choosing seven deacons and the purpose and the job of these deacons was to take care of the material needs, cares and concerns of the people, supply the distribution of the food for the people. And one of them was Philip, about whom we hear in the first reading. And uh, this Philip, he was very enthusiastic and uh, he wants to do the social work, distribution of the food and so on. But he want to do more and therefore the more comes only when you do to God and do in the name of God. And therefore he goes to Samaria, the apostles preach in Jerusalem. But Philip goes to Samaria, the outcast for people for the Jewish people. And there he preaches the word of God. And the Samaria falls to Jesus Christ. And they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore the job of the deacon Philip was to do social work. But he was not satisfied only with the social work. He wants to do more and therefore the more comes only from serving the Lord and in the name of God serving the people and that is what is very very important yesterday I was watching TV and uh, people walking and walking and uh, the TV people were interviewing one of them said uh, 400 kilometers they were walking all the way from other part of the state different state and uh, they are going back to their uh, cities or states uh, and uh, these young people were supplying food and water for them and then the TV fellow who was interviewing he said uh, you are doing a wonderful service and uh, God bless you he said can we avoid God in our life we cannot avoid everything begins from God everything should continue in God everything should end also in God and that is what our life will become very safe and secure and we are in this month of May. I, am, I, remember, I, am, uh, I remember a beautiful story, an incident about a father and a little son. As they were going from one village to the other village, on the way they had to cross a feeble bridge. And then there was a gushing water with a lot of uh, noise of the water. And when they came to the bridge, the father said, my son, please hold on to my hand. Otherwise, uh, because of the bridge shaking and the gush of the waters, you may get frightened and then uh, you will leave my hand, you, then you will fall in the water. You know what the son said? Prudent, prudently, he said, if I hold on to your hand, I might get frightened and then I might leave my hand and then look at the water, gushing water and then faint and fall in the water. Please hold on to my hand. And I am sure he will not leave me come what may. Do we hold on to God in this uh, time that we are facing? We need to hold on to God. And uh, by means of uh, God that we can really overcome the bridge of our sufferings and uh, trials and difficulties that we are facing today. 
Without God, we cannot be successful. Without God, we cannot live a life of meaning and purpose. Without God, we cannot have peace in life. And therefore, St. Augustine said, Oh Lord, we are restless until we rest in you. In this month of May, also rosary. Holding on to the rosary is holding on to Mother of God, Mary, our mother, that we are safe and secure. God is with us. And also Mary, the mother of God, as a mother of the church, mother of all of us, will also be with us, holding on to the rosary. And so today's gospel reading tells us, Jesus he says, follow, if you love me, follow my commandments. That is the only criterion, that is the only commandment that Jesus gives in order that they will receive the Holy Spirit. For I am going, but I will not leave you desolate. I will not leave you orphans. Many a people today, maybe because they are not praying and because they were uh, so much involved in all other things of life and suddenly they are caught up by this uh, virus and then they may feel that they are really restless, helpless and feel the misery of this uh, situation and so on. And therefore, Jesus knowing this in all the situations of our life that we need help from God. No human being is uh, infinite. No human being is perfect. Only God is infinite. Only God is perfect. And therefore we need the hand of God. God has made us and God has not left us alone. God made us and God also will take care of us in this uh, situation. And therefore Jesus says, I will send a counselor to you. And who is this counselor? The paraclete, the Holy Spirit. A couple of weeks from now, we celebrate the Pentecost, the birthday of the church. The very birth of the church is the Pentecost, which means as the baptized Christians, as the believers in Christ, we need to live by the Holy Spirit and live with the Spirit of God in our lives. As St. Paul says, when I pray sobbing and with tears, it is the Spirit of God which is praying effectively to me. And therefore, we need the Holy Spirit for praying. We cannot, as mortal as we are, pray in a right way and with a sense unless we have the Spirit of God in us. And therefore, to begin to pray also, we need the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will guide us to pray better. Holy Spirit will guide us to pray the right way. And especially in this situation, to pray the right way so that God is pleased with our prayers. And the Holy Spirit moves us all around in spirit. It has got uh, various powers and authority, prophesying, healing, and uh, uh, speaking in tongues, and so on. But the Holy Spirit will help us always to recognize the presence of God in us. God is present in us. If we are in spirit of truth, if we are present with the spirit of God, then we know that God has not abandoned us even in this uh, precarious and dire situation. God is with us. If we realize and pray to God and uh, spend time with God and uh, face God before us, as uh, King David said, God is always on my right side. And then we will keep God always on our side. Then we can see the hope in God even in this situation. God has not left us orphans. Jesus has not left us orphans. He loved his disciples so much. And he wanted to keep them closer to him even after his ascension and be seated at the right hand of the Father. That he will always take care of his disciples while they are here on this earth even after his leaving to Heavenly Father. And therefore, he promised them that he would send the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God makes them to realize God is with them. Perhaps that was the reason that the apostles after the Pentecost, if we realize St. Peter goes to the temple of God, Jerusalem, as soon as he receives the Holy Spirit and boldly, a timid man, a frightened man, a man who was so much shaken by the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, goes to the Jerusalem temple, preaches very boldly and to the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Jewish people who are highly educated in the, the word of God, the scripture. From where he gets his courage, 
from where he gets this knowledge to preach the word of God and he also heals a lame man in the temple I have neither silver nor gold what I have I will give and in the name of Jesus of Nazareth get up and walk he says from where he gets all this power all of a sudden because he received the Holy Spirit on the Pentecost day it is the Holy Spirit which makes us to become ordinary people to extraordinary people people who are faithless people who always doubt people who have always fears and anxieties people who always are distracted people who are, uh, who are always tempted will become extraordinary if we have the Spirit of God the power of God in us all the apostles were ordinary men and the saints were ordinary people they have become extraordinary because of this power of God that lives in them in the name of Jesus and with the power of the Holy Spirit they were able to do all these extraordinary things we think about Mother Teresa short statured person hardly four and a half feet coming from some far off country and yet she was able to communicate and she was able to really do service not only here but also everywhere in the world from where she got so much courage and strength and energy and stamina once again it is from God and therefore we are ordinary but we have the extraordinary power of God in us we live by the light of God that is there in our heart and mind if we really love Jesus if we keep his commandments then God definitely will give us the Holy Spirit the paraclete by which we can overcome everything in our lives as in the book of Ezekiel it is said but I will give you hereafter a new heart a new mind and also I will give you the Spirit of God a heart of stone will be turned into a heart of God a flesh and therefore God gives us the new heart and new mind Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 31 it says now the commandments will be written not on the tablets but it will be written on your hearts so you will remember these commandments forever and you will live by the power of God Jesus gives only one commandment at this time and that is if you love me keep my commandments and what are the commandments that Jesus gives not too many not too complex that we have to remember them follow them all the time scrupulously meticulously follow these commandments only two commandments love the Lord your God with all your heart mind and soul Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 5 love your neighbor as you love yourself Leviticus chapter 19 verses 18 these two commandments are sufficient for us to love Jesus and by loving Jesus the consequence is we are given the Spirit of God and it is the Spirit of God which moves the entire universe in the beginning was the Spirit of God in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and what is this Word? the Spirit of God the Spirit of God was moving all over the universe and therefore we cannot really live our lives however powerful may be at this time even the greatest men are helpless science, technology, medicine and all kinds of things 41 plus lakhs of people suffering today and now months more than six months November to May six months no medicine has been found so many countries almost all the countries in the world are affected and so many have become really jobless shelterless no food and sick and also lockdown shut down and therefore we may do all efforts as human beings but with God all things are possible we need to turn to the Lord as uh, believers in Christ as uh, Christians pray in the Spirit of God as St. Paul said with tears and sobbing I pray and therefore pray in the Spirit of God and God definitely will listen to the prayer and uh, God will come to our rescue and therefore we have the Spirit of God we must know we have the Spirit of God and the Spirit of God makes us to pray the way God wants us to pray at this time we need to be open-minded we need to receive the Holy Spirit we need to recognize the Spirit of God 
and we need to also allow ourselves to pray according to the spirit of God and all things are possible for God nothing is impossible in humility we all need to turn to God it is it is the responsibility of everybody to pray at this time in the spirit of God so that we overcome this uh, crisis and once again our life becomes uh, very much smooth and uh, normal and uh, by our lives we give glory to God and we manifest God's presence here in this world and therefore let us all turn to the Lord and pray and all the time we need to pray as St. Paul said not one time but all the time pray unceasingly let's not pray during this holy mass and also during the week and every day of our lives pray with the power and the spirit of God our prayer should become full of life not a lukewarm prayer not a dull prayer not a prayer without any hope and not a prayer that we really consciously do not pray but a prayer we make with a conscious effort and with full of hope and power and faith and trust in God and definitely all the prayers will be answered let us not pray during this holy mass for the gift of faith and for the gift of recognizing the spirit of God and pray I believe in God sisters in Jesus Christ Jesus wants to send us a helper Jesus uh, promises that he does not want to leave us orphans and desolate and therefore let us call upon God's help on all mankind upon the church upon our families and our country your response Lord help us to love you Lord help us to love you for the Pope the bishops the clergy and the religious that encouraged by the celebration of Easter, they may venture into new avenues and sow the seeds of the gospel as Philip did in Samaria. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, help us to love you. That we may live by the love commandment so that there may not be loveless families, loveless marriages, loveless couples, and loveless communities. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, help us to love you. For all Christian families which form the larger church, that the obligation to love may begin among the members of the family, such as parents loving their children and children showing respect and honor towards their parents. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, help us to love you. For all peoples of the world, that there may not be discrimination based on caste, color, language and culture that everyone may consider another person as a fellow human being, a brother or a sister and may show love and respect. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, help us to love you. For all, for all of us present in this Eucharistic Assembly that encouraged by the words of Jesus, we may prepare ourselves to receive the Holy Spirit whom he will send upon us. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, help us to love you. Let us now pause for a while and pray for our intentions. God of Father, we thank you for God's presence in this world, even in this uh, situation and trials and tribulations. We know that God will take care of us. God will never leave us orphans. God will never leave us without hope as long as we live our life with the spirit of God. Help us to recognize the power and the presence of God in this universe and on this planet in our lives. Help us to turn to the Lord at this time and seek his help 
so that we may overcome all the tribulation that we encounter today. May our lives be blessed, guided, inspired, and be filled with faith, hope, and trust in God. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. sisters of this sacrifice of ours our prayers and petitions may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church may our prayers rise up to you O Lord together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest, the altar and the lamb of sacrifice. They therefore overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people excels in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic force sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and a drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To this, 
in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis our Pope, Bala our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Betsia, Brendan Savio, Teresa Ma, James Vincent, Mari Vincent, in remembrance of their wedding anniversary, Ronald, Marian, whom we have called from this life, and uh, Saroja Cripson, whom we have called from this life, grant that they were united with you, our son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, that all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased with you, throughout the ages. We pray for Angela and family, Zachariah and family, Mary Paul and family, John Francis, Cecilia and family, Cletus who celebrates his birthday, Brother Christy who celebrates his birthday for the good health of Manivaram, Amala and her family, Yvonne and her family, P.T.S. Ravi and family, Ari Xavier and family, Celestine and family, Captain Philip and her family, Alex George Tezina and her family, Madhanu Balaswami and her family. Grant them all the gift of the Spirit of God. Keep them in your care. Bless them, protect them, and grant them the love of God. Bless the entire universe. Bless the planet Earth. And bless the Holy Father and all the people who are praying so that many more people may turn to God at this time and realize only God is our help and God's help is always available and present with us when we turn to Him. We may merit to be co-aced eternal life and a praise and glory for you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Go Him with Him in Him in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now call upon God and pray that God may help us at this time. Let us now confidently pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope. For the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity 
in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The joy and peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This, my brothers and sisters, is Jesus, the Lamb of God, body broken, blood shed, to give life, life in abundance to all of us who believe, who turn to the Lord. Let us uh, seek the Lord's help even at this time. Blessed are we who are called to his banquet of life. Lord, I am not worthy that we should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be thee. For doubt for your redemption, a symbol of my love. O oh Lord, I am not worthy, yet you come to live in me. So speak your word of comfort, by your touch strengthen and heal me. Call to me God's new people, made one in Christ the Lord, let us be Soul of Christ, sanctify me, for your Christ save me, let our Christ innovate me, water from the side of Christ wash me, passion of Christ strengthen me, O good Jesus hear me, within thy womb side me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee, that the man in the enemy defend me. At the hour of my death, call me, and bid me come to thee, that with thy sins I may praise thee for all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bob your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on us the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's now go and rejoice in the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. So today, three people are celebrating their birthday. Major Joseph and uh, Cletus and the Brother Christy and also many in our families at home and uh, we are still locked down but uh, we still invoke God's blessings upon all those who are celebrating their birthdays today and also wedding anniversaries. So may God bless you and may the Mother of God always uh, uh, help you to be uh, receiving God's blessings in our lives. And so we pray for all of these people. Thank you. God bless you. Thy loving kindness is better than life. Thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. Thy loving turn my hands unto thy knee. The skies are telling. The glory of God, the skies are telling, the glory of God, my lips shall praise thee, the 